Okay, this one's gonna be short and sweet just because uh, I only ate three times today and it wasn't anything special. Let's start with breakfast. I had a keto coffee. I made it exactly how I normally make every keto coffee. Um, it's mainly because of how much fat is in it is why I drink it that way, plus it tastes okay. So anyhow, uh, for breakfast I had an omelet which was two eggs, about two-ish tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, some cheese, about 20 grams, and a couple pieces of bacon crushed up on it. I did put two tablespoons of salsa on the top of it just to give it a little bit more flavor. That's kind of how you have to do it. You just, and if you can eat the same thing every day, do it. I, I'm okay with eating uh, fried bacon and eggs every day, but I'm just trying to switch it up a little bit to give you some you know, different ideas on how to do this diet. Um, for lunch, I had a bang. I'll get to that at the end. And then I had uh, two cheese sticks, 28 almonds, the smokehouse almonds. All this will be up there for you to see so you know exactly what I use. Um, and then I had like 15 slices of pepperoni. So it seems like it wasn't that much, but it was. It was definitely filling and I wasn't hungry. I had a bit of a late breakfast and a bit of a late lunch. And then for, I had no snack. For dinner, I had ribeye, salad with, you know, uh, bacon bits, ranch, and cheese. Super basic. It was really good. I usually start my day with a fat drink and then end it with a fat drink. But looking at my macros today, I didn't think that it was necessary for me to have a fat drink at the end of the night. Um, we'll pull that up real quick for you. Again, you can follow me on my fitness pal and you can see my macros, the foods I ate, all that good stuff. So let's look at a diary today. All right, so for fat, we are at 78%. Protein, we are at 19%. Carbohydrates, we're at 3%. So we had 205 grams of fat 112 grams of protein and 15 grams of carbohydrates. Those are good numbers. I, I, if I could keep my diet that every single day, that's what I would do. Um, when it comes to like the calories, so I had 200, I mean, sorry, 2,359. That's a bit high. If you're wanting to lose weight, I definitely suggest try to keep it around 2,000 or a little bit under. You don't have to starve yourself with this diet. Some people say calories don't matter, but I look at it this way. I did not work out and I stayed home and worked on my computer pretty much all day. So I didn't burn many calories and I'm still a little bit sicky. So it's okay for me to keep my calories up that high. I'm still trying to get, you know, back to being healthy. We're gonna get back in the gym Monday and then it really won't matter. But I just think with me not going, basically not leaving the house today, it's probably better that I keep my calories a little bit lower than that, but it's gonna be all right. I mean. We're putting our body back into ketosis. We're teaching it to burn fat and produce ketones. So in the end, everything's fine. You don't have to worry about it because at first you're just trying to get your body to use ketones and the fatty acids in your body as fuel. That's what matters. It doesn't matter about losing weight. It doesn't matter about you know how few carbohydrates you eat. It's really about your body getting into a state of ketosis and that's what your goal is. So let's start. let's go back to the bang energy drink. I I kind of am dependent on caffeine. I shouldn't be that way, but it is what it is. You don't have to drink caffeine. I've read multiple things that drinking caffeine will increase your ketone level. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. But that bang, I basically it probably took me two and a half to three hours to drink that. I was just sipping on it, kind of like instead of just drinking water all day, I'm having a bang with it. Which brings me to the next point. Make sure you're drinking plenty of water and make sure you're putting salt on everything. I know everybody says, oh, you shouldn't be having so much salt. Well, if you're not eating carbohydrates, your body's not storing water and it's flushing everything, so all your electrolytes. So you're gonna need to put salt on everything. It's very, uh, that is the one thing I think that I do. When it comes to potassium and magnesium, I don't really care about that. I'll get it somehow or some way. I don't take a supplement of any sort. Uh, but again, the salt is very important. I, salt stuff, pink Himalayan salt is what I use. I don't use just regular table, table salt. Um, I think I'm going to bring it to an end. We got tomorrow as a work day and the next day is a work day. It's been holidays. I've been behind on my stuff. So it's just going to be a work day. Obviously, I'm going to film what I eat and send it off to you. I'll, probably, I'll try to think of some better tips for the next one as well. I'm just going to try to keep remembering tips as I go. Anyway, until tomorrow. Keep it keto.